My name is Josephine Strickland, and you will be presenting a today by John Owen. And proudly, I present Truth. Thank you. Nine nine. Hello. Aren't you up? Of course I am. I'm just a little tired. I got up too early. I couldn't sleep either. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're here to speak. Don't make fun of me. I'm not as mean as Truth. This time of year, more than anything, has been overrun with every big piece of hate. Wasn't I miserable to exist when we were small? I used to play mud at you. I put worms down your neck. I remember tying you to a tree and cutting off your hair. Your beautiful hair. How easy it must be never to be unreasonable with all that smooth, silken hair. It's a beautiful thing sitting around your head. Why do you insist upon talking about other things? I'm not talking about other things. Antigone, I thought about it a lot. Have you? I thought about it all night long. Antigone, you're mad. I am I? We cannot do it. Why not? Creon will have us put to death. Of course he will. That's what he's here for. He will do what he has to do, and we will do what we have to do. He's bound to put us to death, and we are bound to go out and bury our brother. That's the way it is. What do you think we can take it? I don't want to die. I prefer not to die myself. Antigone, listen to me. I thought about it all night long. I'm older than you are. I always think things over. You don't. You are impulsive. You get a notion in your head, and then you jump up and do the thing straight off. And it's silly, but so much the worse for you. Whereas I think things out. Sometimes it's better not to think too much. Oh, I know, it's horrible. And I pity Paul and I see just as much as you do, but all the same, I sort of see what Uncle Creon means. I don't want to sort of see anything. Uncle Creon is the king. He has to set an example. But I am not the king, and I don't have to set people an example. At least you could try to understand. Understand? The first word I heard out of any of you was that word understand. Why didn't I understand that I mustn't play with water? Cold, black, beautiful, flowing water because it's spilling the palace tiles. Or with the earth, because earth there is a little girl with frock. Why didn't I understand that nice children don't give everything in their pockets to beggars? Or run in the wind so fast that they fall down? Understand? I don't want to understand. We kind enough to understand when I'm old, if I ever am old, but not now. He is stronger than we are, Antigone. He is the king, and the whole city is with him. Thousands of them, swarming through all the streets of Thebes. I am not listening to you. His mob will come running, howling as it runs. A thousand arms will seize our arms. A thousand breaths will breathe into our faces. Like one single pair of eyes, a thousand eyes will stare at us. We'll be driven in a tumble through the streets, to the smell of them and their cruel, roaring laughter. We'll be dragged to the scaffold for torture, surrounded by guards with their idiot faces all bloated, their animal hands clean washed for the sacrifice. And we shall suffer. We shall feel pain rising at us until it becomes so unbearable that we know it must stop. But it won't stop. It will go on rising and rising like a screaming voice of white hand. Can't. Can't. Antigone. How well have you thought it all out? I thought of it all night long. Do you? Oh, yes. I'm an awful coward. Antigone. So am I. What does that have to do with it? Antigone, be sensible. It's all very well for men to believe that ideas and die for them. But you are a girl. Don't I know that I'm a girl? How have I spent my whole life cursing the fact that I'm a girl? Antigone, you have everything in the world to make you happy. All you have to do is reach out for it. You've got to be married. What about Haman? I shall see Haman this morning. I'll take care of Haman. You always said I was mad. It didn't matter how little I was or what I wanted to do. Go back to bed, Antigone. The sun is coming up, and as you can see, there is nothing I can do today. Our brother Polynices is as well guarded as if he had won the war, and we're sitting on his throne. Go along. You are pale with weariness. What are you going to do? Nurse is getting me breakfast. Go and get some sleep. But look at you. You can't keep your eyes open. Go. Then you will listen to reason, won't you? You let me talk to you about this again? Promise? Promise. I'll let you talk. I'll let all of you talk. Go to bed now. Corazmini. 